Don't be alarmed. It's only a laser sword fight. Don't be scared. It's only the Death Star destroying another world. Relax. It's only a movie, and it's all for fun. Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present... Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Don't be alarmed. It's only the death breath of the Dark Lord. Don't be scared. It's only an Imperial cruiser making the jump to light speed. Relax. It's only a movie, and it's all for fun. Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present... Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. There is nothing new under the sun, but under the small green fourth moon of Yavin, there is quite a different story. <laughs> Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present Star Wars. Luke Skywalker is on a daring mission to rescue a beautiful princess, and all he needs is a little help from his friends. Han Solo, space pirate, and Chewie, his giant Wookiee, C-3PO, human relations cyborg, and his counterpart R2-D2, and the mysterious Jedi Knight. Never before in the history of movies has so much time and technology been spent just for fun. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Get Star Wars posters at Burger Chef. R2-D2, hurry up. That's right. Four posters featuring the stars of Star Wars are at Burger Chef. <laughs> We'd like a Star Wars poster, please. R2, it's our lucky day. It's us. Just buy a large serving of Coca-Cola for 49 cents at participating Burger Chefs, and a Star Wars poster is yours to control. There are four spectacular full-color Star Wars posters in all, so start your collection today. Artu, I think we'd better leave. Star Wars posters, only at Burger Chef, while supplies last. You remember last time, R2-D2 was sent by the lovely Princess Leah with an urgent message for Ben Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. With a tiny rebel starship under heavy attack, R2 and C-3PO flee to the planet below. Will they make it? Will they find Ben Kenobi before Darth Vader finds them? Find out in the next thrill-packed commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Meanwhile, back on the Rebel Starship, the lovely Princess Leah is brought before the evil Darth Vader. Will he force her to tell the location of the Rebel base? And what's to become of R2-D2 and C-3PO as they hurtle toward the desert planet of Tatooine? Find out in the next thrilling commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG, parental guidance suggested. Somewhere on the barren desert planet of Tatooine, our little hero R2-D2 and C-3PO are searching for Ben Kenobi. <laughs> Suddenly, they're attacked and captured by the sinister yellow-eyed Jawas. Will they be sold for scrap? Will they escape to find Ben Kenobi? Find out in the next heart-stopping commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG, parental guidance suggested. In our last thrilling commercial, old Ben Kenobi had just rescued young Luke Skywalker from the savage Tusken Raiders. It is now some time later as they discover the burned up remains of a Jawa sand crawler. Fearing the worst, Luke races for home in a desperate attempt to save his aunt and uncle. What will he find? Stay tuned for the next commercial for Star Wars, rated PG, parental guidance suggested. 
when last we left Luke, Ben, R2, and C-3PO, they had gone to the Moss Eisley spaceport, searching for a pilot who can take them to Alderaan. But once inside a murky bar crowded with bizarre aliens, Luke is attacked by a vicious killer. Can Ben Kenobi save the boy before it's too late? Will they find their pilot in time? Don't miss the next spine-tingling commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. He was young, but he was ready. Ready to leave his home and everything he'd known to join the fight against the Empire. Armed with his father's lightsaber, he fought for his life, his friends, and the lovely Princess Leia. Luke Skywalker was ready. Luke Skywalker is back. Star Wars is back. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. All his life, he only cared about one thing himself. But now, the best hotshot pilot in the galaxy was playing babysitter to an old man, a green kid, two robots, and a princess. Han Solo really had his hands full. Han Solo is back. Star Wars is back. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. She was as tough as she was beautiful. Here they come! A gentle princess who could handle a blaster with the best of them. But all she had to do to save the Rebel Alliance was escape from the Death Star. Princess Leia was running out of time. Princess Leia is back. Star Wars is back. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. It does feel for me, writing the music to Star Wars, that, that it's one entity, that it's one body, and that I'm adding parts to it every time, and that, it is a, that it, there is a continuity there in, in musical terms that is, as far as I know, in film, unique. And it's an opportunity that George has given, probably unwittingly, I mean, initially, on his part, and certainly and unknowingly on my part. But in retrospect, we can look back and, and see now that we've had this, we have this collection of, of themes and melodies and marches and battle hymns and all this of all kinds, uh, weddings, funerals, everything you can think of that, that belong to this uh, canon now of, of musical work, which... I have to say, I, I get a big kick out of looking at it now, and uh, especially due to the fact that in the beginning, at least in my mind, it wasn't planned out that way. Well, there are so many parts of working on Star Wars that, is, that are fun. I think always for a composer, the moment you stand in front of the orchestra and begin to conduct the music and hear it for the first time is the moment of greatest exhilaration f for, for me as a musician. Uh, that will rival even the opening night of the film when all the people come in dressed and see a lovely film all finished by George. But for me personally, that first downbeat and hearing the orchestra begin, that's a, that's a big high and, and, and a great moment f always uh, for, for me personally. The Star Wars films are basically silent movies and they're designed as silent movies. Therefore, the music carries a, has a very large role in carrying the story, more than it would in a normal movie. Most movies, the story is carried by the dialogue. Star Wars films, the, mu the music carries the story. So that the music is extremely important, just as it would be in a silent movie. Um, and uh, so uh, that connective tissue of how you get from, there's a lot of very quick transitions in Star Wars. You're moving from, from scene to scene and scene. It moves very 